Welcome back everyone to the Collector Channel. Today I'll be showing you some Babe Ruth items. I have Babe Ruth baseball cards, exhibits, autographs, um, some really cool things. So make sure to stick around and watch this video and we'll check them all out. First we'll be checking out this Babe Ruth signed check. Um, Babe Ruth signed it right down here. It says G.H. Ruth for George Herman Ruth. And it looks like he also filled out this check. He put his wife's name here, Claire Ruth. And as you can see, he has a real classic Ruth signature right there. This check is for $25. It was written on August 18th of 1942. Here's the back of the check, and right here it's signed by Claire Ruth, Babe Ruth's wife. So she filled out the uh, back part, signed her name on the back of the check, and he filled out and signed the front of the check. And right here you can see it a little bit better. Next up we'll be checking out a signed Tour of Japan photograph. Um, this has five autographs or five signatures on it. There's Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Jimmy Fox, Quinn, and Suzuki. The autographs present very well, um, especially the, the big two that I would want to present the best, the Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. Um, those probably would be like a 10 out of 10 roughly uh, for autograph grade in my opinion. Um, the Jimmy Fox looks nice too. It's probably more like a 7 out of 10. And the other two are a bit more faded but they still are on there and um, we can still read them. Uh, the size of this photograph is probably just a little bit bigger than a 1933 Gaudi baseball card. A um, little bit smaller than a like a 52 top, so kind of somewhere in that range. Um, really neat to have a signed photograph by all these people on one item. And it's difficult to find a smaller signed photograph like this. The ones I've seen, there, there's a couple others I've seen and they're very rare, um, but they're a lot bigger in size, so really cool item. And here's the back of it. It's a uh, blank back to it as a photograph would be like this. Um, so there's no stamping on it, no writing. Looks really nice, presents very well. Next up we have a PSA DNA graded Babe Ruth cut signature. Uh, it says uh, sincerely Babe Ruth on the front. It looks like this was signed on a letter. Maybe it was like a return postcard or a uh, letter back to somebody. And when I'm looking for signed cut autographs, I like to have some kind of date on there. I mean, that's really neat. This one does say 1938 on the back. So um, most likely the signature is from right around that time. Um, so yeah, and then this is the address it was going to. And again, on the front, signed by Babe Ruth, a super nice signature. And I'm sure if that autograph was actually uh, the graded on a 1 to 10 scale, I'm sure it would score or grade pretty high. Um, right now it just says authentic auto, so the uh, autograph has been authenticated and is real according to PSA DNA. Next let's move on to some exhibits. Um, we have the 1928 exhibits Babe Ruth. This is graded a 4 by PSA, PSA 4. And over here we have another Babe Ruth. This is 1929 R315, also graded a four. Both look really nice. Um, this one's well centered. And this one doesn't really need to have any centering because there's no borders on it. But really presents well just like both of them do. Let's check out the back now. And here's the backs, they both look clean, especially for how old they are. And they're both blank back. Some of these exhibits, um, like this one over here, sometimes they do have like an advertising back, which is pretty rare, but most of them are blank back. Next up we have a signed autograph Babe Ruth ticket stub. Um, Babe Ruth's autograph is right at the top there. This is graded by PSA DNA, given an authentic auto grade. And this autograph, as you can see, isn't as neat as some of the other ones I've shown you. Um, 
it looked like the other ones I showed you were maybe he took his time um, when he received the mail at home or wherever he may have been, he took more time. This ticket stub most likely was signed at the ballpark and at the ballpark he was probably rushed um, before a game after a game or whatever it may be because um, autograph looks not quite as neat as the others do. And here's the other side of the ticket stub. Here's a little bit closer view of the autograph. And like I mentioned before, it's a, it looks like a quick autograph. It was done quickly. It's a little bit messy, and that's what we would expect at a uh, ballpark when you know before or after the game, uh, quickly signing his name on whatever the person may have in their pocket. And this happened to be the ticket stub, which is really cool. Uh, you'd think there'd be a lot more autograph ticket stubs out there, but they are actually pretty rare. I don't see a whole lot of them, so it's really cool to, to have this that I can show everyone. Now we'll be checking out two Babe Ruth baseball cards. These are not autographed by him, which would be really neat if they were. I, I've never seen either of them autographed by Babe Ruth, um, but just to have the, the cards themselves is still really neat. Uh, the one on the left is a 1926 Sports Company of America Babe Ruth card. Um, this is an uh, 8.5 graded by SGC. Um, it's also known as the Spalding Babe Ruth. A lot of people refer to it as that. There's four different types. I think there's an ad back, stats back, and then there's a 1927 copyright, and then lastly there's a blank back. Um, this is not common by any means, but it is a bit more common than um, the other three I had mentioned. And on the right we have a 1923 Maple Crispet Babe Ruth. This is graded by PSA, given a grade of 4. Um, one of the higher grades out there. There's some higher, but not many. I don't know the exact uh, population report on it, but um, there hasn't been a whole lot graded of these cards. These are uh, from Canada. They're uh, issued in Canada in 1923. And here's the back of the card. So this one would be a stats back. This is not the ad back. And the one on the right here, the Maple Crisp at Bay Ruth, I don't know if there's any varieties. I don't think there's any varieties of that. So um, is what it is. I mean, it's really cool. I like how there's a baseball, a bat, and a glove on there. I think that looks really neat, and it looks like these could be sent in. Um, so if you collect the set, you can send it in for something. And you can kind of read the back so you can see uh, what's being advertised on here. And a lot of these times when um, cards could be collected and then sent in for a free gift. A lot of times people did do that and that's why there's not so many of them found plus they're they're very old. Next up we have three Babe Ruth items here. These are the 1932 Sonella Margarine Babe Ruths. And they're all graded PSA 8. We have type one, two, and three. So these were originally issued in Germany in 1932. These are the three varieties there is. Um, well, there's so-called type four, but really the type four is the type one. And here's the back of the cards. Really nice back to them too. I like that they're not blank back. There's some writing on there. And you can, if you look closely and compare them, you can tell the differences um, of the three. And Sonella on this one on the left here, the type one is located right in the middle, and then the other ones are located lower. And I'll let all of you look to see if you see any other differences. I haven't researched enough 
to see if there's any blank backs of these. That'd be really cool. And I would think that there might be because there's an Astra back, A-S-T-R-A uh, brand back that's not Sonella that looks very similar to these. And there may be some blank backs. Um, I just have a feeling that there might be somewhere out there, but I have not seen them yet. Lastly, we'll be checking out this signed postcard of Babe Ruth. So it's autographed right up on the top left. This is a postcard. I believe Babe Ruth would have these postcards handy and sign them and send them to his fans. We'll check out the back here and as you can see it says postcard. It's very light but you can see it. Place stamp here. I think it's kind of neat that this hasn't been used before. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've seen any that have been actually. I Maybe 10 years ago I'd see more of these but they've really disappeared over the years and I don't see many of these signed postcards any longer. We'll give everyone one more look at this postcard. This is really cool. This image was used quite often um, and, and postcards, cards, pictures, different things. So I really need to have this signed. Alright, well that's it for today everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. I have a lot of fun collecting this stuff, looking at it, sharing it with all of you. Um, so a ton of fun. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see everyone next time.